Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca. Today we are doing a vino unboxing and drugstore lipsticks. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you're well. Happy February and look at us. It's like Valentine's Day is around the corner. Now, mm, I think I am really down with this Galentine's thing because yes, I am happily married 25 years this summer, um, but Valentine's Day for my husband and I, it's been nice, like we, but we don't like do, we don't do up Valentine's Day. So I don't know, I love the idea of Valentine's Day with all the cutesy stuff, the romantic stuff, the treats. I mean, and I'll, that would be great with my husband. <laughs> my best girlfriend, her birthday is on Valentine's Day and we met in the fifth grade. So basically every Valentine's Day for like from age 10 to 20, even age 10 to 25 was like around her and we just, everything was heart themed. All right, but anyway, aside from that, who cares? Maybe, maybe you don't like Valentine's Day. Maybe you don't like wine. You can skip to the lipstick part of this video. Maybe you don't like lipstick but you like wine. You can watch the wine part, but not the lipstick part. Maybe, I don't know, you know, like maybe you just need a hug. So before we get to my lipstick, let's talk Vine O. I have done Vine O unboxings on my channel before. They are a wine subscription service. Subscription price, $59.99 per box, but the boxes are valued over $239. New subscribers, with my code frugalista, get their two bottles of wine, their five to six full-size items, and three gifts. Okay, let's talk about what's in this winter oh la la box. So let's talk about the wine in my box. This not, would not necessarily be the wine in your box. They sent me, and these are adorable. The labels are like, look at that. Look at that, it's like romantic and sweet. This is called Loverly. It is a red blend. This is a California wine from 2018. Loverly is knowing what brings joy and happiness to your life from a quiet walk in a beautiful garden. This feeling is what inspired our new wine, so Loverly, with each sip. So this is a California wine. There are California wines and South African wines. And um, a red blend is nice because if you're kind of not too much into like a deep, deep Pinot, but you want a little bit more than like a Chianti, a red blend is your friend. So the value of the wine is right around the $20 mark. I don't know about you, but I always spend just like $10 on a bottle of wine. So it's kind of fun to get something like, ooh, what's a $20 bottle of wine taste like? I have seen this label. Where have I seen this label? I love this label. So I also got a bottle of Chardonnay. This is called Wicked Bliss. This is also California and it's the year 2020. Does it say anything about this? Uh, we raise a glass to those who break the unwritten rules of life. Okay, shatter glass ceilings in the pursuit of Wicked Bliss. So that is very cool. Um, again, California, Chardonnay. This is a tumbler. Now, it says this probably is wine. I would not put wine in here. I will put some kind of, you know, more like a, <laughs> a tea or something. Um, but just because I'm kind of not a person to put wine in a sippy cup, which is kind of what this is like. But this is so cute. I love this. I know so many of us are just attracted to things that are kind of in this blush pink. So this is the Willow Collective Tumbler. It is $20. Um, it is insulated. It keeps any kind of condensation from, you know, spillage. I don't know, what do you say that? Just contact, Con condensation, ugh, I hate it. You guys, this is the, also from Willow Collective, this is the foldable backpack. It is valued at $36. I really, really want to know how to use this. Look at this. So it's like, if you want to bring a backpack on vacation in your luggage, because where you're going, like we do Disneyland, let's say, and my husband has this like travel backpack. He just folds up and shoves in his carry-on. He doesn't necessarily use it when we 
our like at the airport, but he knows we have it if we want to go on walks or just like, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Cute print. Ha! All right, that's it. Nice. It's got your little water bottle thing here. It's got your adjustable straps. This looks pretty good, actually. This looks, and it's obviously waterproof. All right, love that. Next we have the Gemma Simone Stackable Bracelet Set. This is a $35 value. So this is the Stackable Bracelet Set. I do love the fact that they're that kind of elastic. So these are definitely mix and match. There's gold, black, and white, and they are neutral. You can wear this as a stack or wear them individually. Each braided bracelet is stretchy. It'll fit any wrist. Why we love Gemma Simone. Gemma Simone Jewelry was born in the heart of New York City in 1993. They're dedicated to providing special Providing stylish fashion jewelry for the contemporary girl. And they have an e-boutique. That's really cute. And it's, they're not noisy. These are julep, I love julep beauty. These are giant. These are very, very generously sized. Like look, wipes from the drugstore. <laughs> julep beauty wipes. Okay, so these are julep beauty facial wipes. They are biodegradable. They are, what, how many do you get? 60, there are 60 in here. They are paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan friendly. I love Julep, but they closed their nail bars in Seattle, but now they're just online. And of course, you know, they have polish and makeup. These are, these contain witch hazel, glycerin, and olive oil. That's kind of cool. Okay, and then the last item that is in the box is, uh -huh. These are called Mouth Party. That's cute. So these are caramels and um, they're $4 for this little, little gift box. That is very cute. So they have cream, sugar, butter, dark chocolate. Uh-huh, let's see what Mouth Party is about. Five simple ingredients. This four generation family recipe has stood the test of time. They are free from nuts, gluten, soy, and high fructose corn syrup no added preservatives. They have been around for 14 years. They are, oh, they are based in Maryland. A portion of their annual profits are donated to local cancer research and support organizations helping to make a meaningful difference to fight cancer. Ah, I have to have one. This is, oh my God, the original. Hmm. You guys want to hear me slurp a caramel ASMR? Just kidding. All right, your first free gift with my code is this open circle necklace and the brand is EB and Company. It is a retail value of $24. So, you know, we're not talking diamonds here, but this is very cute. Very cute. This is pretty great, you guys. La Ritzy, did I say that right? This is a classic eyeshadow palette valued at $32. These are cruelty and cruelty free and vegan. Ooh, it kind of looks like a Marc Jacobs palette. That's really pretty. La Ritzy is a Quebec, Canada company. Oh my gosh. Oh. I already love this hat. So this is a beanie from Willow Collective and it is lined. Isn't that fabulous? So I think what I love about, I have another lined hat and for me what it does is it just doesn't smash my hair or leave a mark across my forehead, which I'm so grateful for. This is $20. Oh, let's see here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute and so warm. <gasps> so fun and it's not too tight because I have a very enormous noggin. 
And the little, little puff is so cute. You guys, that's so cute. So thank you, Vino, for sending that. I will leave all the links below. These make great gifts. You know what, if you wanna get on, um, get in uh, sort of the queue and start up your subscription, Mother's Day, a few months from now, perfect timing for the next box if um, you need a gift, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you've got some mother-in-law, sisters, daughter-in-laws, okay. I wanted to do a drugstore lipstick, uh, just kind of my favorite picks of drugstore lipstick in the shade red for Valentine's Day in the spirit of this time of year and trying to just feel festive and fun. And a lot of you ask me about what my favorite red lip is. And I gotta say, I do love a high-end lipstick. I am here for that. You know me, I love a gorgeous lip. Um, no matter the price, to, well, I haven't bought that Christian Louboutin lipstick ever, but I, I have splurged on lipstick, but time and time and again, I always go back to drugstore and there are a number of reds that are very similar. They look really similar in shade and they do feel very similar in texture, but I'm gonna just break it down for you so you can see them on me and you can decide for yourself. A couple things about this. One, I did not use lip pencil. So I am not wearing lip pencil with any of these. And that was sort of just for speed, for the sake of time. Also, for the sake of lip pencil is a lot more long wearing. So when I put lip pencil on, I'm not gonna be able to take it off to just put another color on again for the sake of this video. However, in real life, I would always, always wear lip pencil with a red lip. And it can even be a nude pencil. You can match the shade, or you can use like a deep shade if you wanna ombre it, or you can just do a nude shade that matches your lip, okay? Your, your flesh, lip flesh color. So first of all, more of a creamy formula is this Wet n Wild. This is the shade Crimson Crime, and you guys, this is like $2.99, $3.99 at the drugstore, so affordable. And honestly, it's just a really good formula that is moisturizing, wears well, doesn't taste bad, and it's just, it's easy. This is a more blue-red, in my opinion, and it's just, it's one of my favorite in this Wet n Wild collection, um, and I, I really, really like it. Okay, then next, CoverGirl lipsticks. Now they have changed these formulas so that they are not the cover girl of our high school years and they are so soft and so smooth and they don't leave a weird orange residue and they don't taste weird or smell overly perfumed. So this is the shade Hot. It is a cream. It is actually more of a yellow red but I feel like still on me it was just kind of like it still looked clear, neutral red, because maybe my lips are so pigmented that the bluish um, pigment of my lip color influences the way this looks on me. But you can tell it's a lighter formula, like for instance, what I'm wearing here, you can see that it's a very deep, deep formula, and we'll get to that. But this goes on very soft, creamy, you know, it's easy to wear, um, it feels nice, and again, with a lip liner, it will last quite some time, even though it's just a cream formula, but it leaves your lips feeling very comfortable. The Alme uh, Lip Vibes, this is one of the underrated drugstore items forever, because Alme always gets a, in fact, even from me, I'll be the one to kind of shoot down Alme, but these lip vibes are so good and they have such a good red. This is called Treat Yourself. And it's just, I don't know, it's just like so easy going, you know what I mean? And it's five, six dollars, it's very affordable. You guys, I realize I'm going to swatch the first three together so you can see them because I know I'm giving you lip examples. Here we have the Alme, CoverGirl, and Wet n Wild. 
So you can see the difference. You can see how they vary in shade. And the Wet n Wild of all of them is probably the least, um, I don't want to say least pigmented, but it's the least concentrated. Like the formula is almost sheer. So the next three are all matte and they are another kind of variety of, you know, like if they're red, but they're different red. <laughs> okay. So first flower beauty, this is the poppy pout. And if you're looking for something that is a more yellow red, this I think is the winner. This is so pretty. It is a little bit of a harder formula, you know, like you have to when I apply it, it doesn't come straight off the tube and like super creamy, but it's still creamy once it's on your lips. Like it's very moisturizing, even though it's from the matte formula of their um, Flower Beauty lipsticks, but they're just so good. It reminds me of a Charlotte Tilbury and um, they just, they wear so nicely and they're so affordable and I love this. I have been raving about the Milani Lip Fetish. This is from the Floral Collection, Flora Collection. So this is Poppy, another Poppy, but this Poppy is deeper than the Flower Beauty. This one is very, this is like a true blue, very deep. Also, the pigment comes across so deep. The formula just really distributes a lot of product to your lips and it reminds me of Pat McGrath. It does. It does. And then the one I am wearing is from the lip bar. And I think I talked about this in one of my end of the year, end of 2021, or even I did this on a reel on my Instagram because I'm having kind of some deja vu. Like, didn't I just talk about this? This is their shade Cosmo. And this is the shade that they Oh, you know, they'll put it on every skin tone, every uh, shade uh, from a dark skinned to a very pale skinned woman, and it looks amazing. It is just one of those lipsticks that works on everyone, and it's such a deep, deep crimson. It's a beautiful formula. You can see it's very rich, very pigmented, thick. You know, and it's what I'm wearing. It's just so funny how you think, oh yeah, no, it's just red, right? And then you see them all together and you realize, it's like when you put paint, when you're like, um, my friend just did this with her husband. She's like, I wanna paint this room white. He's like, it's already white. She's like, I want it more eggshell. He's like, white is white. She's like, are you kidding me? She puts up six patches of paint and they're all different. We were cracking, it's blush and bashful. I always quote that from Seal Magnolias. If you're talking about shades of color that are the same, but they're all very varied and you can just kind of tell the difference. It's yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have the flower beauty. This is the poppy flower beauty. This is the poppy Milani. And then this is the lip bar. And now you can see them all together. Hopefully that's not too distorted with the lights. So there you go. Yes. And if you tell me you can't wear red, I'm going to tell you, I don't believe you. I think you need to try. You need to find within yourself the power of a red lip and you will love it. You will. <laughs> okay. Let me know if you want to do like, I can do nudes, not that kind of nudes. I can do, um, I can also do high end if you want this in a high end version. Okay. All right. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Take care. I hope you're well. I'll see you next time. Bye.